The sale of the single family home 153 Bowery in East Village was a huge win for the sellers and for me. Uh, every deal is a little different. I learned something from it. Here are the three things I learned from this one and which were helpful in making this deal a success. Um, local knowledge. I have, have lived in this Downing Town area for 28 years, so I know the history of the communities and this was one of them. I knew the builder, I knew uh, when it was being built, I knew the pros and cons of the community and the property itself, and I knew the buyer profile as well. So that was very helpful in forming the marketing strategy and how to approach uh, you know, the buyers as they came in. I knew there was objections about the lot size. You know, when you're selling close to a million dollar home, people want a larger backyard. This community does not offer large backyards. And so we had to make the most of what we had. So I highlighted the changes that the buyers, the sellers had made to the property and, um, you know, showed off the little backyard that they had created by pushing, you know, the retaining wall and holding it back with the boulders and, you know, the large supersized deck that they had built. Uh, that sort of is something that I brought up in every conversation I was having with realtors who were trying to send me lowball offers, you know, as a justification for the price that I wanted on that house. Uh, another thing is there is a golf course views in the back. So I made store, show when the stagers were there. We did some nine man hours of staging, or I should say woman hours of staging in this home. It is a gorgeous cream puff. The sellers had some beautiful furniture and the updates that they had made to the home after they bought it from the builder were just gorgeous. And I wanted to highlight each one of them. And I focused on the few that were really important. Um, and one of them was the golf course views. So even if it meant moving heavy furniture around, we made sure that the views from the windows were unobstructed. So we could have a clear view of the golf course. And some people love that, you know, having that in the backyard and the privacy. So the local knowledge of these little things help and paying attention to those details. So the tendency to price this home would have been in the 929 to 969 range because the assumption was that that's where it would sell more or less, right? Nothing had sold higher than 940 in that community so far. So we were really, you know, um, um, going aspirational when we went with 1 million. But I like at that price range, I want enough time for everybody who is interested to see the house. So it allowed us enough time to show it. It didn't quite just sell in the first weekend and we knew it wouldn't, right? Um, with 8% interest rates and the buyers, you know, getting off the market because, you know, million dollar home at 8% was really high numbers, we had to drop the price, right? But this time I knew that there was a lot of interest. I had had enough buyer conversations. And so when the drop happened, we didn't drop to 975, we dropped it lower because based on those conversations, I wanted to create that fear of missing out. I knew there were people interested and they weren't going to let go of this house for 10, 20, 30, $40,000. It was a beautiful home. So that strategy worked out really well for us as well. So even though we dropped to 950, you know, again, we sold at 972 and uh, got really close to where the sellers wanted to be. So that pricing strategy was really, really helpful in getting the seller the top dollar in this case. The third reason for success for this sale was the relationships one has with the professionals in the industry. I have been doing this for 13 years and it's uh, a, a real blessing that I have some phenomenal relationships with other buyers agents, with the appraisers and uh, you know all the professionals in the industry. So the buyers agent who actually uh, brought me the final winning offer had never shown the house. And I literally out of the, you know, just called him and I said, you haven't shown my listing yet. You know, bring your buyers by. Uh, do you have anybody in this price range for this area? And he's like, Bela, you're overpriced. You're a little too high. Um, I, I can't justify that price for that neighborhood. And I said, just show the house. Just send your buyers. I can show it if you want them. Uh, if you don't have the time, um, the, once you see the house, you know it's justified because there's a lot of wonderful updates and he still wasn't buying it. Um, but eventually when the price drop happened, the, his own buyer sent him that listing and said, what about this one? And then he knew that I had talked about it and that's when he showed it and the rest, as they say, is history. Another professional involved here was the builder salesperson, Kristen. She is fabulous. That's a wonderful relationship I've had with her. I have had a few new construction sales in the community and she's watched me interact. 
and she called me out of the blue and said, Bela, don't worry about appraising your listing because I have a million dollar new construction deal that's settling in the next couple of days and that will help you with your appraisal and in justifying your price. Who does that for you? I mean, I doubt if all the agents out there have people making calls to them like this. So that was a huge win. And the appraiser that we used for the, uh, the buyer used for the appraisal, does your realtor go out and meet the appraiser? I go out and meet every appraiser that comes to appraise my listings that are under contract. And out of the about 30, 35 to 30 minutes or so that he spent at the property, um, I let him do his thing and talk for about 22 minutes. I didn't say a word. I asked him a few questions. He had a lot to say and he had a lot to do. And I just facilitated all that. And the only thing I then asked him was, would you be interested in having this information about this home that sold and that home that sold? And he's like, really? I didn't see that. Clearly, he hadn't noticed those listings, which would have been good for him to compare the home with. I left them behind with him and we absolutely appraised at the purchase price. I believe that was really, really helpful in this deal as well. So here are three reasons why this deal was a huge success and what a win for my sellers and for me. I love these stories. Please check out some of my other client stories while you're here. You'll be delighted.